Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide, and this time we are getting it all in seven doors. This was developed by Indigo Studios, developed by Sodesco, and is available for a measly and tiny £3.99 slash £4.99. So this is actually a neat little puzzle game in which, you guessed it, we have to solve puzzles in order to get through all seven doors. Now each room has different unique puzzles rather than just the whole pick up box A and shove it over there somewhere to open up a door. Now without the guide it would take some good thinking while still being enjoyable but with the guide I'ma tell all y'all where to go so y'all don't have to. <laughs> so there are obviously the, the achievements are very easy too mostly for completing all seven rooms plus three bonus rooms three missable achievements which are very easy and last bit you need to make sure to bring the gold trophy with you through every bonus room. Simples. Again, all in all, you're looking at around 30 to 40 minutes to complete this. So, with that being said then, let's do it. And let us talk about the controls. First off, very quickly, A button to jump, left stick to move, right stick to move the camera, X button to pick up things and interact with things, and the right bumper to sprint, i.e. jog ever so slightly faster. So, there we go. Nice and easy. So, let us begin then. Uh, you can turn the brightness up, which I do highly recommend in the settings for room 3, by the way. But for now, we're just going to walk towards the door and let Five, big old broski start talking like this. Hello, er. Uh. Seven challenges are waiting for you that we have prepared, specifically to test your skills. We're waiting for you behind the last door, if you arrive. I mean, he says challenges are waiting for you, um, but with a the guide, these challenges are about as challenging as pulling down your pants to go poopies. Anyway, here's the first door then. We will get an achievement every time we go in through a new door. But what we're going to do is turn to the right, pick up the gun with the X button, and then press the B button there to take it. <gasps> oh my god, is this going to happen really? Pick up the ammo as well, press the B button to take it, and luckily it's not what you're thinking. We need to turn around, look up at the ceiling, and you're going to see the golden skull on the chandelier. Shoot it down with the X button, pick it up with the X button. Of course, you know when to pick it up, because it'll say pick it up. Move forward, and it'll automatically be placed in the hole, the golden skull hole, right to your left, next to your left. And that is the uh, first room done. So that's primarily the thing. We need to grab a golden skull from somewhere, shove it in the hole, socket, and bam, let's get out of there. Right, so for this next door, then, we have to grab four items and put them in the in the bowls, golden bowls right there. First things first, have a look to the left, grab this big, giant, golden deliciousness of yum-yums, a uh, big turkey thing. What you need to do, may take a few tries, but to get this missable achievement, which it is a missable achievement, we need to just place it in one of the bowls. Now, it doesn't go in automatically, so you will have to place it, and then, for some reason, you got to place it and then walk away. So if you place it and then pick it back up, um, the achievement should unlock. It wasn't unlocking for a while, so if it doesn't unlock, just put it down in the bowl, pick it back up, and then it'll work. So anyway, if we head to the left here, just behind this desk is a plant that we're going to put on um, in one of these bowls. I think it's uh, this one. It'll automatically be placed anyway, um, so you can't really miss out. From here, go uh, to the right and pick up this little tiny, tiny coffin which is uh, basically my wiener says. I'm um, just joking. Anyway, put it in the bowl, which is not this one, but it is that one. From here, we're going to turn to the right again, and we're going to pick up this candle, which is just chilling, chilling by itself on a table. Uh, try not to grab the newspapers, and then pop that one in uh, one of the two remaining bowls, the one on the opposite side. And from here, um, we are going to turn directly to our left, and head into this little sort of chess play area, grab this basket bucket of deliciousness of nothings, pop it in the last bowl, and that's job done. Then you can go ahead, grab the skull, and move on. And we're going to be getting another missable achievement as we head through the door now. So once we go through, before heading through to the next door, have a look at this table here on the left-hand side. And what you're going to do is basically pick up the lighter, the lighter fluid, and then interact with the candle. And that will be the No Fear of the Dark. Uh, which will come in handy for the next room, which was a bit of a son of a monkey until you realize what you got to do. So this is why I uh, suggest turning up the brightness. So when we go through it here, what you're going to see is a bunch of statues standing still. Now, you have to avoid the ones that are directly staring at you. 
So if you go past one that is directly staring at you, they will catch you and kill you and you can just start again. So from here, go immediately left. Like just keep your lookout. Don't, you know, take your time. Take a right here so you don't so you don't go past the crouching one. Have a look to your left and grab the golden skull. Now what you need to do here is turn directly around. So turn directly around and then start moving to the left. And then you can just move straight on and that is how you do that room. Seems simple enough, but there was a, there's about four or five of those that are staring directly at you. And if you go past one, especially that ending one, if you try to go past him normally, he will catch you. So that's why you have to turn around and go that way. Otherwise, that's all good. Now we can just crack on into the next room. Luckily, this is a lot more chilled and a lot easier. So what we need to do then from here is just take a right. And we're just going to put in a code and do it that way. Of course, there are lots to do here, but we're just going to do it straight away. So the code is going to be 6289. So that's 6289 for the code. Open it up. Pick up the old broski skullski. And stick it in the old pipe socket. And... Well, that's another one done. Gosh, aren't we fantastic? Ah, noisy and sloicy. Right, moving on. This room is... It is easy, but it is just a case of obviously trying to avoid everything so you don't die. So, what we're going to do then, we just need to obviously wait for the guillotine in front to go up. Stand here, and then what we're going to do is... We're going to go for the right-hand side, so wait until the swinging axes have gone, and then move to the right, and then quickly go. Now, you will get, when the, once the door's open here, you will get a checkpoint. So if you die in this point, you'll start from this point. What you need to do, we're going to make a break for it. As soon as it goes up, just keep sprinting. Keep sprinting forward. Don't wait for anything. And then you should be able to make sure to jump over here as well. That's a trap door right there. Pick up the skull. So you should be able to make it if you swing straight away. Now, we're going to stick with the right-hand side, but as soon as uh, the ones are going on the left, just keep making a break for it, and that is job done. Again, apologies that that kind of went a little bit quick there, but honestly, it's easier rather than just taking your time, because I was trying to do that. Take my time, take my time, and I found it easier to just literally just go straight away and go nuts. Um, but it did take me a couple of tries, that last door, so don't worry if you die a few times. I did as well. So for this room there, we're just going to literally walk straight forward. And there is going to be a little handle right at the end that we are going to interact with. Man, aren't we some kind of massive... Mm. Yeah, look at that. And then once that is done, we're just going to take a little uh, spooky walk around the corner. And now we just have to do this slight little puzzle. So what are you going to do then? First of all, it may seem complicated, but it's not because I'm going to tell you exactly which ones to push. So, the one that looks like a devil's thing right there, the devil's pitchfork. Then to the top right, which looks like the Jeebus cross with a circle. Then the one in the second middle row, which looks like the number two. Then the top left, which looks like an upside down Jeebus cross. And then on the bottom right hand corner, the little old eyeball. That will be enough. And that is Golden Skull Picky Uppy Time sticking in the old hole socket. And that's another one. Job done. Oh my god, you guys are fantastic. Another achievement unlocks right then. So this one is basically you have to pick a specific path. If you choose uh, the wrong path, you will fall to your death and have to do it again. Again, it's not so bad. So I'll tell you exactly what we're doing. So start off with the black piece here on the right. And obviously you'll see when you've done it um, correctly. Go on to the white piece. Path, and then jump over to the next white. Turn slightly left to walk onto the black. Then turn to the right slightly to jump onto the next black. Then we're going to turn um, onto the white, so turn right slightly. Then to the left, jump again. And then uh, go forward onto the next black. Turn to the right slightly, jump onto the next black. And then you can just walk onto the next white and move on. We're not quite done yet, though, so uh, we have to go and get the actual golden skull. So, go onto the black piece, uh, the black bit, the black tile, then jump, and then jump again onto the next black tile. Turn slightly to your left onto the white one, then jump onto the next white one. And, voila, like magic, there is a golden skull chilling. I wonder how much a golden skull would be worth, actually. Not that I need the money or anything. YouTube pays me well. <laughs> That's a lie. Um, so jump onto the white one and then onto the black, of course. 
and then straight in front of you now the final two black ones and then stick the skull in the hole goal every hole's a goal when you've got a golden skull and that is it so enjoy the dialogue and then we've got a couple of bonus rooms to do fun you have passed through all seven gates and shown seven great skills in the empty library the first room you put to the test the faculty of analysis in the enigma of chaos the second room you have used your power of deduction and observation in the museum of soulless men the third day, you have wisely combined courage and prudence. In the gallery of framed dreams, the fourth room, you have developed your intelligence and lateral thinking and have put it into practice. To overcome the whole of tragic fate, the fifth room, you have made use of a high capacity of reflexes and control of the situation. In the secret of the pharaoh, the sixth room, you have demonstrated your skills in decryption and interpretation. And finally, in the last game, you have managed your peripheral capacity of calculation and strategy. Overcoming all the obstacles, you have advanced without fail until arriving here, at the end. You are worthy of entering the great hall of fame, so, pick up your reward. This is your moment. How could you guys deceive us like this? Right, remember to pick up the golden trophy. Very important, we need to be picking this up all through the bonus rooms in order to get um, the specific achievements for putting a trophy on the pedestal. Okay, well, give it. So, the bonus rooms are very easy, if not quite time-consuming, so that's why it takes another sort of 10 to 12 minutes, maybe 15 minutes to finish this off. So. Going forward, you'll automatically drop the trophy. Basically, we just have to find a bunch of skulls and stick them in the old um, evil ring right there. So first one, turn to the left, pick up the hat. There's the golden trophy. No need to worry about that. Pick up the hat, pick up the skull. You have to put them in uh, certain bowls as well. So for this one, we are going to put, if we're on the right-hand side here, put it in the sort of top right-hand corner. Yep, there it is. You'll actually, it doesn't actually automatically go in. So you'll have to press the X button to drop it in. From here, uh, just go straight ahead of us, and you can see this lovely looking... I tell you what, they do look pretty damn good, actually, but pick up the next skull anyway. We're going to turn around, uh, providing we don't get stuck like I apparently tried to. And from here, then, we're just going to go to the opposite side and stick it in the opposite side of the last skull. Again, providing it doesn't decide to jump off on its own, you know, random accordness. Right, so from here then, what we're going to do, turn directly around again and pick up the next skull. This skull looks cute. So, the one that we're going to drop it in then, if we uh, head to the, basically the top of um, the uh, north or south, whichever one it is. Anyway, stick it in there, job done. And then from here, what we can do is turn to the right, and there is another skull just chilling on top of this beautiful looking wooden thing where you put things so jump on top grab the skull and then where we're going to put this is in the bowl directly in front of us pop that down like a big balloon type custard mayonnaise looking thing that makes no sense and then carry on to the opposite side behind the pillow here on the settee grab that now we're not going to be putting this in any bowls rather we're just going to walk straight ahead and we're going to put it in this bowl right here and that will actually make another skull appear just to the right of us there and uh, that is the one that we need. So that, ink, well, that one can trip you up big time. Anyway, stick it in the bowl here, north or south, whatever you want to bloody call it. Again, providing it wants to pop in without an issue. And then we've got one more left to grab. And if we turn to the right here, next to this chest, grab the chest, use that mega, mega bicep strength that I know you all have, and apparently get rid of the books. Pick up this skull. Come in. Him in and stick it in the last remaining bowl and oh okay well I'll try that again apparently my aim is just about as good as my peeing ability at aiming is it's not good 
pick up the golden skull that we need anyway and stick that in the hole goal. By the way, my um, I can actually pee into a toilet. Just in case you were wondering, I'm not that bad. So make sure to pick up. It's not always on the floor, honestly. Only when I'm drunk or it's 2 a.m., okay? And every man will help. Every man will back me up on that one. So, so pick up the golden trophy anyway. Remember, very important to pick up the golden trophy. And get your buns into that next room, Hans. So the opposite of a busy time square, it's timeless square. Basically, we just have to pick up items and shove them in the hands of these golden statues. So first off, go to the left slightly, and you're going to see this little violin with a violin. So grab the violin, eventually. We can grab that, and then we're just going to, again, it's not a sprint, it's more of a tiny little slight jog that we're going to do uh, towards the opposite side of the map. Stick that square in the violinist's hand, and job done. So turn to the left, and then we're going to have a look at this little ice cream stall. So pick up the old Mr. Mr. Whippy Boy and give it to the guy on the bench. And then from here, what we can do, we're going to turn to the right, just behind violinist man, and grab the umbrella. Now, this may take some time. Uh, for some reason, it's really fidgety and quite awkward to get the umbrella down. So, you know, don't panic if it takes you about two or three minutes, like it did to me, in all honesty. Um, where's that son of a monkey? The Who's that one with a bloody flying umbrella? The, the nanny. Miss Poppet. What, what's her name? Exca Paladali Baladala Calamotius. You know, that one. Anyway. She apparently got sucked up by a aeroplane vacuum, just like off The Simpsons. That's why her umbrella's chilling. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab the umbrella, and it, we're basically just going straight towards the opposite end where we started. So sorry about the confusion there, but we're going to the opposite end where we started. Excafala, bala, nah, screw it, I can't remember. Right, so go back to the right to pick up this ball, the beach ball of life, and we're going to give it to the guy. Just, well, looks like he's got a bad back or something there. Or looks like he's about to become a monkey. Ooh -hoo. Right, pick up the gun. <laughs> anyway, and we're going to go to the basically the bottom left-hand corner of the map. So past the deer statue. Okay, you know, come on, son. You've got good legs. Make them legs work, boy. Make them. Give the gunman the gun. Um, you think you'd be able to give, like, you know, the other guy something to protect himself with. But apparently not. Apparently everyone gets shot at in Times Square. True? I don't know. Right, Back to basically where we were then, we're going to grab this cane now. And if we turn to the left and then turn to the right here, we're going to give this cane to um, this old feller. Oh, this old feller. Ah, that's right, he's popped the hip out. He's done good in life. Right, so from here then, go back to where the violinist was, into this little cafe sitting down area. Pick up the salt shaker. And we're going to go back to the start. And just to the right of that is a guy sitting down distraught and despairably not having salt on his chips. So we're going to sort that out for him. There you go, Maka. No problemos at all. So next thing we're going to do then, if we head back towards where the violinist is, there it is. There is going to be an engagement ring just before the cafe seating area in this little bush. So you need to uh, give that to the obvious looking guy who's eating ice cream on a bench. He's proposing to himself. Nah, it's this guy right here. There we go. Congratulations, you guys. Oh, marriage is so fun, honestly. So pick up the newspaper from the table, and of course, we're going to be giving this to Mr. Broski on the bench ski. There you go, brah. And that should then be enough. That'll get the skull good for us. So again, we're going to grab the skull. We're going to stick that, of course, square in the hole bone, or the hole goal. Ta-da! And remember to grab your trophy before leaving. And so, for the final room then, this is the final room, and it is kind of the most tedious in all fairness, but we're going to be getting a missable achievement first. 
which is for drinking all the rum bottles. Apparently, we think we're a pirate or Johnny Depp or something. So, first of all, on the top of the piano to the right, just pick it up and you'll automatically drink it. <coughs> the drinking noise is hilarious, too. To the right again, slightly on the table next to the old yo ho ho, is another rum bottle. If we turn around from here and start heading back towards the start, you're going to see another rum bottle past the stairs. There's one on the floor. Uh, to be fair, this dude can handle his rum, Jameis. Uh, go up the stairs. On the left is another one on the bookcase. And then if we turn around, if we just turn right slightly, you're going to see another rum bottle here on the top of the barrel. <laughs> it's so funny. And there's going to be another one in the piles of gold as well. Treasure yard. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. And all that stuff. So head down the steps. You can see on the barrel there, there is a, another one. From there, where, where we can go, we can basically go straight ahead. On the table is another bottle of rum. And if you ain't going to spill and crap your pants at the end of, after the end of drinking all this rum, you're impressive as hell, honestly. So from here then, we can turn back to the right. And just by the barrel right there is another bottle of rum, hum, hum. And that is going to be all the bottles of rum. So don't touch the rum, don't touch the bum. There we go. So now we can be sick, get all our rum up, and start collecting items to put them in boxes. So from where we were then, uh, sort of at the back of the room, uh, next to the last rum bottle, go straight ahead and interact with, or grab this golden, looks like a baby's toy, what's that called? Now don't put it in this crutch box. I'll, I'll, I'll fix that in just a moment, but we have to put specific items in specific chests. So, um... It's the one to the left which we needed, uh, but again, I'll fix that in just a minute. So, go back up to the steps, and then what we're going to do is grab a mirror here, which is just to the left of the cannon. So, grab this mirror, and like I said, we need to be putting these in specific treasure chests. So, just next to the chair is the one that we need to put it in, and it's the same with that baby's golden toy thing. That's where you need to put that in. Have a look on the floor, though. You should get this um, yo-ho-ho -ho blown horn. Stick it in the chest here next to what looks like a, you know, that thing you look out of. A something scope telescope there you go sorry so i've just fixed that one then so from here what we need to do now is find what basically looks like a firework now for me it was right by the piano but it may be on the floor just next to you um, i'm not sure if this is supposed to be in random locations or not but anyway once you found this firework pick it in the box put it in the box with the horn hey what you doing get back in there get back in there right so head to the right here onto this little table Next to the skull is going to be a skull that we're actually going to grab. Sorry, I thought we were picking up something else, but it is the skull we're grabbing. Put that in the tre chest there with the crutch hanging off it. And then what we're going to do is go back to that same spot and grab this pirate hat. Looks a bit moldy in all fairness, but that's fine. We're going to stick that in the box with the skull as well. Or again, if you're as uh, bad as aiming at peeing as you are putting stuff in there, well, you would have missed that too. Uh, or is it just me? Anyway. Back to the same spot that we were just in then. Gra we're going to grab the sword next. Ching, ching. And we're going to put that in the opposite side. Just close to the stairs. Closest to the stairs right there. And the big master chair, as it were. So now we can grab this bottle of what looks like perfume, in all fairness. We're going to put that in the same box with the sword. Because apparently you've got to smell good if you're going to be fighting other pirates and stuff. You never know when a lady or a man pa uh, pirate might just pop up, eh? I was going to say pirate then. Uh, grab the gun, and we're going to put that in the box with the horn, and the... Uh, well, we're going to try and put that in the box with the horn anyway. So we'll try that again. And we're going to try that... Hey, yep. And apparently we're going to go for a big jump as well. Anyway, as long as the gun's in there slightly, that's fine. Now, what you might have seen there was the compass. If it's not on the floor, which I just knocked off, it'll still be on the table. So just grab that compass, put it in the box there to the left of us. The golden, with the baby golden toy thing. Then what we're going to do, we're going to head back up the steps. Past the cannon. And on the floor is going to be, or what looked on the floor, right against the window is going to be this big out old massive mace thing. So we're going to stick that in the box with the crutch, the skull, and the old pirate yo-ho-ho -ho hat. And we're almost done. It's a bit tedious, this one, unluckily, but that's fine. Uh, so back up the steps, and then on the floor this time is the old, um, you know, 
pirate razor thing. You know, the old tiny razor where you used to get a good close shave. So we're going to put that in with the sword and the perfume. And that should then be it. Now we can grab the skull. And that is job done. Right, so for the final two achievements then, what the game normally would want you to do is put either a trophy or a rock on this next pedestal. And then you would have to play through these three bonus games again and then choose the other option. But what we're going to do... When, we get, when the one achievement pops, we're going to immediately quit the dashboard and then come back into the game, okay? So we're going to immediately quit the dashboard. If you take too long, you would have missed the point. The game would have saved and you'll have to do the three bonus rooms again. I'll show you what I mean. So we need to go out. So with that, that achievement unlocks fine just there. That's all good and hood. Little bit of uh, dialogue is going to uh, happen right Yeah. So, first of all, then, we're going to turn to the left, and there's going to be a rock that we're going to grab. So, grab the old Rock of Life, put that on the pedestal. Now, as soon as the achievement immediately unlocks, quit to the Xbox dashboard. So, here it goes. So, quit straight to the dashboard here. There we go. And then just load your buns back in. Now, be careful here, because it will always um, start off on new games. So make sure to press up on the D-pad to go to resume. Very easy to accidentally press new game, and then you'll have to go through the whole game again. No, thank you. And then, of course, finally, what you're going to do then, you will... That's not an edit, by the way. It looks like an edit, but you'll just start right back in the same room. Uh, apparently, <laughs> apparently, I had issues getting through this as the trophy got stuck behind the door. Just close the door and then pick it up. But that will be the last achievement, so... That will be that. So, I'll leave it here then. So, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Um, I do apologize about the mic issues. If my voice sounds a bit different than last videos, something's up on my mic. But anyway, let me know if it was a bit distracting or whatever. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the game and guide. If the guide helped, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Um, obviously, you'll have 17 out of 17 when I pop this on. Um... Yeah, big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Absolutely fantastic. So again, thank you so, so much. I will see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big love.